Morris Barney chasing the truth. George Jenko reflects on his interview with Andrew and Tristan Tate. The Tates love guys like George Jenko who are not going to challenge the Tates on the facts of the case and the actual evidence. You know, they can <clears throat> pull their scams, run roughshod, and run all over him. This is why you don't let guys like George Jenko interview people like the Tates. So let's get into the video. You got up, looked me right in my eyes, right in front of you guys. He goes, this one's going to go crazy. Mm -hmm. You brought it. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, imagine like, you're, like the whole year you're telling your friends this is going to happen. And then the dude... I mean, right off the bat, you just, you start, it's just so pathetic. Wait, you need Tate's blessing to be successful. Like, everybody on the internet thinks that they need Tate and Justin Waller, of all people, for their blessing to be successful in anything they do. It just shows, like, how pathetic you are, George, right? It just, it's pathetic. You know, the human traffickers, the pimps, the pedophiles, the, the two guys that run Ponzi schemes directed at kids, 15-year-olds, the two guys in the war room, Andrew Tate and his brother Andrew Tate, teaching young men how to pimp and get girls to work on webcam for profit for them. Tristan Tate, you know, caught in the war room saying how he's going to work these bees like slave 12, slaves 12 hours a day. But you need their blessing, right, George? Let's continue. Dude, that you're pretending you know literally just said that to your face. And I was like, I could pee my pants right now and like be completely fine. So... We go upstairs, we're like quiet, and we're like little girls. We're like, dude, do you think he's going to hit us up? Like, we I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm going to pee in my pants. It's just like I'm already – I'm 30 seconds into the video, and I'm absolutely disgusted. Tate, the Tates love guys like this. We're going to go. We're going to show us around. Like, waiting for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So finally, like, I was like, guys, listen, we're done waiting around. This guy's a – like, he's a grinder. He's probably taking over a different, like, thing right he's now. He's invading like, yeah, 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 yeah. And by the way, by the way, a lot of people ask me, is he like that in real life? More. Yeah. More. He's, so holding, the, he's holding back. And, and with we'll a huge smile the, on his face, too. We're, we're going to get the, the vault. We're yeah. going to talk about that. Yeah. We're yeah. Be, but, oh, my God, he's holding back. Way holding back. And, uh... We sit at a restaurant, we, we take off our jackets, we hang them up, we sit down, we order our food, they go, we wait 10 minutes, bing, address, meet me here, this, we got up. <laughs> Don't bring the go food. On. Don't even bring oh, the wait, food. Really? We left money, yeah, yeah, we just yeah. left. Bounce. Yeah. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. So oh my God. Really? And uh, Tristan comes around. Now. It is that trench coat. No. Like, oh my God, we got a text in the Tates. Oh my God, what are we going to do? Like, what are you guys, 14? Homo. <laughs> No, you are. You are. It's okay. No, it's no big deal. It's 2024. I saw this dude standing in front of me. I was like, thank God my girlfriend's not here. Oh, my God. He just came in, and this he came in with a SWAT team of people. Yeah. And he walked in. This is me. So you're the camera. He looked like this, looked right at me. And I went like this to get up, like, hey, hi. And he's like, talk to his... Tristan was voguing. He was voguing like Zoolander. Tristan, the most interesting man alive, the Gonzagi man. You know, the man that brags about he's recruited more young women into the sex game than any man alive. You know, the same Tristan that says he can never get a girl from a rich family to work for him. He has to get girls from poor families whose fathers make $10 an hour and uh, post proud pictures on Facebook and who work shitty jobs and that somebody has to buy them their Gucci bags. F Tristan Tate. F Andrew Tate. That's why George Jenko should be banned from interviewing those two pieces of garbage. Because if I would have interviewed these two pieces of garbage, I, first of all, I don't need a security team to interview the Tates. Exactly what I'm saying now, I would say right to their face. But this is what happens when you have a tool bag like George Jenko and doing the interview. Friends, they like separated, and I was like, Oh I no! Down. I go, okay, maybe he doesn't know who I am yet. I'll wait until Andrew comes. He goes, hi, hi, shakes his hand, and I was like, in my head, I go, we are never gonna be friends. This guy hates my guts. Oh no! Probably like, why is my brother making me hang out with this guy? Like, I don't want to hang out with this guy. It took maybe one hour. Bro, how do you have a girlfriend? Actually, I know why you got a girlfriend. Because you got money. Because I don't know how any woman on the planet could listen to their boyfriend just like act like a woman in front of another grown man. Now, I didn't say you had to kick their ass or challenge them to a fight. You can't be mentally sharp 
you can't be mentally challenging as a man. I mean, I've seen female reporters go at the Tates harder than you. I mean, you're you're like you make me sick right now. You make me disgusted as a man to listen to you talk like this. Like, I don't know why all of a sudden now it's cool for all these girls to date guys that are like, let's be scaredy cats together. <laughs> like Bobby Lee and his girlfriend. Like, that's like the new in thing. Like, I got to find a guy that's not threatening. Just because your boyfriend can fight or handle himself doesn't mean he comes home and beats up his girlfriend or beats up his wife or beats up his kids. So now the cool thing is to get the ultimate beta male that acts 10 times worse than a woman. I mean, I know why you got a girl because you got money. It's that simple. And I, I think that guy's one of my favorite human beings I've ever met. Like, like, we got along so well, and I'm so excited. We already planned to do an episode together, uh, God willing, in the future, uh, again with Andrew. And I'll you got along so well, Toolbag. Because he knows you have a lot of followers and he's trying to spin the narrative. It's like, what do you want him to do? Beat you up a couple times and then you're not going to like, he's forced to be nice to you and speak to you because he, the Tates are trying to save themselves from prison. Like you can't figure that out. Oh no, he's going to show up with a baseball bat and hit you in the head. Idiot. Love to run it with, uh, with Tristan because... That guy is deep too. Oh yeah. So we get to the restaurant, we have a great time. And then uh, Andrew goes, you know, I played this video game and I'm trying to get Andrew to play Fortnite with me mm -hmm. and he won't do it. So I go, how about this? If Reed could beat you in this video game, you have to play Fortnite. Now, everybody <laughs> just gets up and I'm like, oh, we're just going to his compound right now. Hold on, <sighs> what did he eat? We just all had steaks. Nice. Okay, what's this other weirdo breathing heavy? What 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 was that? Like, what was the breathing heavy thing about? I'm real. I'm just like I'm just. Is it me? What what was that heavy breathing like hyperventilating about? Are you a chick at a concert that saw her favorite singer and you're ready to pass out because the Tates wanted to play Fortnite at his house? Be careful. I mean, you guys act like you guys are so feminine. They might be pimping you out on webcam next. Hey, and by the way, there's some vegetables. There's some vegetables. Mm, no, it's, some roasted it, it's so nice. funny because like, bro, we were just laughing. He felt like they just felt like good friends, and like they felt like it, it was weird, man. When I was when I was sitting with them, I was just like, it's good friends. You got pawned in a chess game because you're a tool bag that has a big platform, and they're using you to spin the narrative that they're these good guys, and you're just too dumb to figure it out. Sad that they have the rep that they have. Oh, it's. I can tell how they respect each other. And they it's sad. Is it sad what they did to those girls? Is it sad how they had girls come in from under in other countries, promised them they were gonna have relationships, took all their ways of traveling away from them, took all their movement away, basically dropped them off in a safe house and had a madam pimp them out, made them work twelve hours a day, couldn't leave the house. Without, is it, was that sad? Was it sad when the Tates lied and didn't let them fill out the IRS, made them fill out the IRS paperwork and said it was for taxes and kept bigger portions of the money? Hey, George, you're absolutely pathetic. Like, yeah, it's just so sad they have that rep. They, the Tates have that reputation because they commit criminal acts. And nothing on the planet, child molesters are number one, the biggest pieces of garbage on the planet. And pimps ain't too far behind in human traffickers. And that's what the Tates are. The Tates are total pieces of garbage. But it's just so sad, right, George? They care for each other. It's like truly how me and my good friends treat each other. Mm -hmm. And so it was really cool to see that. So we get to his house. And uh, sorry, we don't even get to that. We go outside. And so I'm about to call uh, an Uber. And he goes, no, no, no. He's, <laughs> this gentleman's going to take you. Now, this guy, have you ever watched Despicable Me? You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Have you ever seen Despicable yeah. Me? Yeah. The, the, the main guys? These groups kind of wears, wears what you're wearing right now. Oh, bro, all of them wore what I was wearing. Yeah. They're all like, these are like Marine-driven, like, just like, t yeah. armed to the teeth. Like, they Ex -military, are... Ex-military, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Bro, we get in the car. Just and, us and a driver. Yes. And Andrew, like, they're, they're all with, in different cars. You come with me. Yeah. You come with me. And I was like, okay. So we get in and he turns to me and goes, to Top G's house, yes? And I go, yes. <laughs> And then in the maps, you can type in Top G's house on Uber, on anywhere. It's Top G's house. And I'm like, a That's little crazy. advanced. 
invasive. Yeah. I go, but kind of cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we get in, and bro, like, a, I, me and Reed, I knew it wasn't in my head because while this was happening, me and Reed just looked at each other. <laughs> Because there's like five supercars. Yeah. It was a now, movie bro, moment. Bro, 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 bro. The whole block uh, was moment. like Was he wearing sunglasses? No, it was at nighttime. All of us are around. So he has his drivers that are armed around the cars. And then in the cars that are driving you, they're armed. So it's like, bro, like, we, I felt like I was hanging out with Putin, bro. Like, I was yeah. like, we're protected. Like, yeah. nobody's going to touch us. And then us. there's just George and I in the back. So like, look at this. And David's in the, in the front, confidently. Yeah. You got an ox? And the guy's like, don't worry, I got the music. And then I'm not. Like, it was like this. Uh, yeah. it, it was like a. Down, 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 down. Yeah, it was some club music. Like, yeah. yeah, it was just like a Fast and the Furious. Yeah. And so me and Reed just put on our seatbelts, and it, they're like in... It, <laughs> it's like a video game. It literally uh, looks like a video game. And it's raining out, too. Bro. It, it was... While he's driving, he's like, look at this viral video of me at the court. And I'm like, yo, like, please look at the road, bro. Like, and like, dude, just... They owned the street, and I'm like, they're not going to get pulled over. They are the cops. Like, there's... This is a movie, and I'm glad I'm here for it. So funny. I told my sister that story, and she laughs about it. She brings it up all the time. She'll go, to Top G's house. <laughs> and George and I looked at each other right then. He's like, to Top G's house? And it hit us right then. It's like, what's life? <laughs> <laughs> There's this Russian armed guy wearing, like, this high-end Beamer, and we're in Romania. And he's saying, to Top G's house? And he means it. Yeah, yeah. We what? It's all right. We fin. I'm going to throw up, seriously, and, you know, this is who you send to interview. First of all, nobody sent them. The Tates wanted to use George for his platform. George is too much of a tool bag to figure it out. Do you think George is going to sit down with the Tates and go over what the evidence against them actually is and go over the court transcripts and go over the indictment? how women in multiple countries that have never met each other gave the same account of having sex with Andrew where they said they were strangled to the point of unconsciousness and then they woke up and he was still going. These women have never met. They had the same stories. Are you going to press the Tates about that? Are you going to press the Tates what they were picked up on on wiretaps inside the war room? Of course George would. not And the, this is why the Tates... See, like, it, you know why Tristan was in his feelings when he first got there? Because he's thinking to himself, I got to deal with this little putz to fix my image and my reputation. I got to do it because I'm forced to do it. So as much as they can't stand them, they need them at the same time because they know that in, Mer in America that Jenko has a big platform. You know, they're not going to go on the Paul show. Rogan's never going to have them on. All the big podcasters, none of no, but none of the other big podcasters are going to have them on. So they got to spin their narrative, and George is the only sucker that fell for it. I mean, it's absolutely pathetic. It's 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 so pathetic. I can't even put it in words how pathetic it is. And that's why somebody like George Jenko should just stay in his lane, not interview the Tates because it, George, it honestly makes you look pathetic in every way. You know, I know it's you, you're being cute for your girlfriend right now, but I'm telling you right now, when she goes home and she closes the door and she's to herself thinking about you, thinking about how soft you are, she's turned off. And, and please don't bring your girlfriend to Romania because she'll end up on webcam somewhere and you'll never see her again.